What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video on high altitude investing. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about one coin that can change your life. Before we get started though, if you guys are not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now, as well as sharing these videos with your friends. It really means a lot to me when you guys support the channel. Also you guys, if you have a coin that you want me to run over, drop it in the comments. I don't do every single one that's suggested, but I do get to the ones that I feel like will be the most valuable for the community if I cover them. So I just wanna make sure you guys are well aware that you guys can go ahead and let me know what coins you want me to cover. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so we're looking at XLM versus the US dollar on Coinbase. And this is the four day candlesticks. One of the reasons I like to use these bigger time frames is because the choppy action on the smaller time frames is very difficult to properly predict. I made a post the other day on my Twitter talking about this. So if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, make sure that you guys go ahead and follow me on there at high altitude INV. And I basically said something to the effect of trading bigger time frames is the fastest way to grow your portfolio and trading smaller time frames is a form of suicide. And the reason for this is because AIs and algorithms are trading these smaller time frames and to try to out trade an AI or an algorithm I mean, trading is already hard enough if you don't know what you're doing and you don't have the proper techniques in order to make money in the markets. So don't make it harder for yourself by trying to trade against AIs that are literally getting smarter every single time that they take a trade. So that's why I use these bigger time frames: the four day, the one week, and even bigger, I'll look at the one month. I check these bigger time frames often because these time frames humans can trade. You can profitably trade these bigger time frames as a human. You don't need some super AI to be trading the four day candlesticks. And so that's the reason that I personally trade these bigger time frames. I've had a lot more success with profit inside of the markets. I know everybody wants to think inside of this kind of unrealistic mindset of making a million trades in a single day and then having $2 million in a week or something. It just doesn't work like that, you guys. It's so much more effective to take more of an investor approach to your trading and your investing. And by doing so, it allows you to make a lot more consistent profit. But with that being said, you have to be willing to buy dips. This is a massive correction that we've seen inside of the markets. Uh, it's still a normal correction for a bull market to see this, but some of these coins fell 76% and other ones fell 50% like Bitcoin. That's a pretty big drop inside of price over the past couple months inside of the cryptocurrency markets. So you have to be willing to invest when other people are scared. And if you can do that, then you can trade these bigger time frames successfully and you can continue to pull money out of the markets. And yes, you may have to wait a few months after buying panic, but it's going to be very rewarding to do that. You're gonna be very glad that you have the patience to buy when people were scared and to hold through the entire recovery process and then let the market break its previous highs, which is right here with XLM, the previous high was round about 74 cents. And the previous all time high was around about that same level or this similar range it got closer to a dollar here and about 91 cents inside of this wick. This is a wick right here. And so it's important to understand that you guys, it's important to understand that these bigger time frames are a lot more prudent to be watching, to be investing. Checking these smaller time frames is going to stress you out. It's going to lead to over trading, overthinking and to be a good investor, you need to have a clear mind, a good headspace. You wanna have good personal health. You want to have good mental health. All of these things contribute to your ability to make clear decisions in the market. So it's really, really important that you stabilize yourself uh, 
with your trading and, and not get addicted to it. You know, this can be addicting and that's not healthy. It should be something that you just take your trades, you check on it when you need to, you make adjustments when you need to, but you're not just paranoid and over trading and checking it constantly. That's not healthy. Uh, you guys, for me personally, meditation was the biggest thing that helped me stabilize my mental health and really helped me stabilize my investing, make better decisions. I highly, highly recommend that even if it's five minutes a day, you look into some form of meditation because it can really help change your entire trading career and not only your trading career, but your personal relationships with people in your life your personal relationship with food, uh, any addictions that you may have, all of those things just kind of fall away. And it becomes something that you can do in moderation. Like for example, every once in a while, I'll have a glass of wine and I don't feel bad about it. And I don't have any form of addiction where in my teens, I would definitely have a lot more of the drink some alcohol and want to just continue drinking or get it the next day. You know, it was, a, it was just an unhealthy relationship. And so moderation is definitely something that you can find with a proper meditation habit, and it's going to help balance everything in your life. So I highly recommend that. So let's get into the analysis a little bit about what's going on here with XLM, because I genuinely believe that this coin can change your life especially if you have more of the investor mindset where you're willing to hold through any short-term price action that we see in the market and allow the market, give the market time and space to recover. You don't want to suffocate the market with your money. You want to be calculated and put it in there when it's time to put it in and hold and have steel hands. We, we call it strong hands. We can sell in dips when everybody's scared. Strong hands are either buying or holding inside of a dip. And they can hold through long periods of time without needing to change their investments. They can let the market paint the picture it's going to paint and let the short term do whatever the short term wants to do because they know what's coming in the big picture. And that's why I trade these time frames. So Stellar, Lumens, XLM, is painting some wedge structure here, which is very, very nice. Uh, and this actually coincides with an Elliott Wave 4 wave. So we do have a 1, 2 structure right here. So there's our first wave. And then we get our 3 wave. So that was a very, very nice 3 wave. And what we're currently forming is wave 4. And then we'll have a wave 5. I'm not going to get into targets because I do run over that in the VIP stuff for my VIPs. But you guys, if you measure from the low to the high of wave two, it's very common for wave four to stop between the 50% and the 618. Now, this is a range. As you can see, prices fell slightly below the 618. It's basically right here, just a little bit below the 618 but we still haven't tested the 786. And although it is possible for Wave 4 to test the 786, uh, the MACD is very oversold right now. And the market as a whole is very, very oversold. So I think it's a lot more likely that we see a reversal before we get down to that 786 level. Um, actually, if you measure your mouse, I might be, maybe I just barely couldn't see that with my eyes. It does actually look like we tested the 786 level. So my apologies, you guys. We did actually kiss the 7A6 level here in wave four. That can happen. It's more common though for this, the four wave to stop between the 618 and the 50%. That's Elliott wave theory rules. So it's the highest probability for it to stop in that range, but you will get times in the market where it gets oversold or overbought and it's going to extend a little bit further than planned. So my apologies, that actually did test the 7A6 level from wave two to the top of wave three. But needless to say, it's still a wave four, and this is still an extremely potent support level based on Fibonacci ratios. And with the MACD being as sold, oversold as it is, 
I personally expect us to see a V-shaped recovery, just like I'm expecting in Bitcoin and a lot of the other coins, and XLM to see a wave five, which means we're currently valued at 25 cents, and that wave five could easily take us above the previous all-time high. And like I said, that previous all-time high was basically 92 cents. And so being worth 25 cents right now and being possibility of going all the way up over a dollar to a dollar and 25 or even higher, a lot of times fifth waves are extended in crypto. So they're bigger than wave three. They get super parabolic and they go even higher. So there's a lot of opportunity here as a buyer in the market. This is not financial advice, you guys. This is my trading journal. This is my personal technical analysis, what I'm doing with my account, the way I see the markets. So any risk involved in trading is on you guys. However, I, I can't sleep at night peacefully without sharing what I'm personally seeing in the markets because I've helped a lot of people make a lot of money inside of the markets. And when I make these videos, it helps a lot of people get a clear picture of what they can do in their personal portfolio. But at the end of the day, it's you making those decisions. So I have to make that very clear. Uh, but yeah, you guys, I definitely think that wave five is going to be very, very profitable. And I definitely see more upside coming inside of this market. And I do 100% believe that this coin can change your life. And when it breaks its all time high, that's called price discovery. If we look in the past, what's happened when XLM broke its previous all-time highs, it went crazy, man. <laughs> so this right here was its previous all-time high. This is price discovery right here, when you break above the previous all-time high and start going into prices that it's never been. That's why it's discovering new prices. And that is a crazy vertical move. And it wouldn't shock me at all if we see a similar vertical move here inside of this next move that we see in the markets, which just goes to show that this trend is far from over and that there's a lot of money to be made left inside of the markets even still, even with how many people are scared, even with how much FUD articles and all of the manipulation, people trying to get you to sell. You guys, every single market on earth is manipulated. Don't use that as an excuse to stop profiting in the market. It's, in fact, if you're good at trading, if the market corrects further than you expected it to, it provides more opportunity. So it can be useful if you know what you're doing for the price to be drawn in both directions further than you expect. If you know how to play the market, you can make more money because of the bigger swings. Volatility is actually what professional trading desks look for. They want there to be volatility. Because when there's no volatility, they pretty much have to use AIs and algos to trade the market. When there's a lot of volatility, they can take advantage of all of the opportunity that's being provided in the markets. And so that's a good thing, you guys. Volatility is good. That's why crypto can make you so much money so quickly. It's because it's extremely volatile. And that's another reason why I have disclaimers on my videos and stuff, because it's just the reality of the situation. I have people that reach out to me and they, they make a ton of money and other people get caught up in the volatility. And so you just have to know how to play it. It's, it doesn't mean you should get discouraged and quit. It means that you should get better. And that's really what I teach in the VIP and all of these areas. But you guys, the sale is over. I uh, haven't changed the buttons and taken them off the site. If you guys reach out to me through email, I might still be able to get you in, but uh, the last sell ever is over. <clears throat> and I'm starting a new program. The VIP will continue. All of the members that are already in there will continue to receive updates, continue to get one-on-one -on -one support with me. Um, and all of the portfolio stuff that I've been helping you guys with, all of that you guys are going to continue to receive in the VIP. If you're already a VIP member, you can upgrade or renew your VIP membership. Uh, and that's not a problem. I want to keep you guys around if you want to stay around. Uh, if you want to get in the VIP, it's an exclusive group, so I'm trying to keep the people low. You can still reach out to me, but it's not a promise that I'll accept your email to join. But you still can reach out to me to become a part of the VIP if that's something you're interested in. But what I'm doing now is one-on-one -on -one Zoom call coaching. 
and it's going to be really awesome. So if that's something you're interested in, send me an email or a Discord message just so I know who's interested. I'm still working out some of the details, getting some stuff prepared so I can provide the most value possible. But it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's not a classroom. It's not like 20 people in a classroom and a, a Zoom call. No, it's literally you get an hour with me one-on-one -on -one, once a week. And that's what it's going to be. So it's going to be really awesome. I want to get more of a personalized relationship with my people, customer relations. I love to get to know you guys, hear your stories. And I think that the one-on-one -on -one is going to be a lot better way for me to help you guys directly and see your portfolio growing at a much quicker rate. So I'm really excited about that. That's kind of the new thing I'm doing. But the VIP is always going to be here. I'm going to continue adding new moderators as I need them, uh, keep posting charts regularly. I post on there every single time that I do analysis in the markets, I'm sharing it with my VIPs. Um, there's still videos. I'm even probably still going to end up remaking some of the older videos in the VIP. There's still a lot of new videos. And as a VIP member, you guys actually do get the first episode of the L8 Wave Power Series for free, the lifetime and the one year does. So definitely, um, if you guys haven't got that and you're already a VIP member, reach out to me. I'll send it to you. Um, but that's really valuable to learn more about the LA Wave Theory stuff. So yeah, you guys, XLM is definitely going to see more upside in my personal opinion. Uh, the, the market is not in a bear market. This is a correction inside of a bull market. That's a big difference. Uh, and it's important to know that because corrections mean that that's an opportunity for buying the dip inside of the big picture uptrend. It's a completely different psychology than a bear market. So you have to understand the trend is your friend and, and that's where the money's gonna be made. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for reaching or tuning in today's video and for all the people that have reached out to me during the sale, the last sale ever, they got inside of the VIP. Like I said, if you guys still want to get in, I can help you guys get in. You'll, you're just going to have to send me an email and you might not get approved, but it's still possible. You just have to send me an email, highaltitudeinvesting at gmail.com, and we can kind of discuss whether you're a good fit for the membership or not. And then we'll kind of move from there. So, But yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Happy Friday. Um, enjoy your weekend. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. I don't know where I would be without my YouTube channel. Completely changed my life for the better. Crypto, uh, my community members, my VIP. It's so fun for me to do this, you guys. I love seeing you guys grow your portfolios. And I know in times of corrections, it's easy to get discouraged, but do not be dismayed. The market will recover. I've seen hundreds of these corrections in my day and crypto always recovers. It's not going anywhere. This technology is the future. So, yeah, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Share these videos. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hit the like button for me, and I will see you guys in future updates. As always, stay profitable out there.